Hello everyone. Um, I tried to make this video uh, a few times. This whole trip to um, LA has been filled with attempts to make a video about the future of tokenization. And before you click off, I know it doesn't sound interesting, but I want you to expand your mind in this video. Um, right now we're filming for the XRP Unleashed documentary. We're at a, like a $20 million home here in, in Los Angeles. I'm on I'm on the roof deck, um, and that's one of two roof decks. There's another one literally over there. Um, so I'm just going to walk around a little bit and explain my thoughts on tokenization. So <sighs> what most people aren't realizing is, is just how impactful tokenization is going to be on, on the everyday life. And so when you look at your life and you think of all the ways money works, basically imagine that all of it will be tokenized so you know you will have the option to not only tokenize your house to do something called an equity release meaning you you can basically free up equity in your house to get some cash and invest that in, in things that you want to invest in um, but on the other side of things you'll also have the ability to invest in property that is tokenized and so it presents opportunities for people that you haven't usually had. And so these opportunities have typically been available for um, high net worth individuals, rich people, institutions. They usually have access to all these different products. Um, and what tokenization is going to do is it's going to bring everyone else into the fold. So the barrier to entry is going to be way lower. Um, and so my brain started, you know, I started thinking, well, what, what isn't going to be tokenized? Like, really, anything can be tokenized and will. Um, and, you know, before I get in any further, like, the key understanding here about tokenization, because I'm, I'm already hearing some of you think, I don't even know what tokenization is, I don't get it. Um, so tokenization is a process. And that process is moving the rights of of any real world asset and representing that ownership on the blockchain okay so where it's the representation of the ownership that goes on the blockchain so if i say you know we're putting that greenhouse down there we're putting that greenhouse on the blockchain everyone will go how can you put a house on the blockchain it doesn't even make any sense it's the deed so imagine just very simply we scan the deed so we've got a digital version of the deed it goes through a system with like verification. So let's say the US government, they say, yep, yeah, we approve, this is the legitimate deed. It's a scan, but we, we, we're happy to say that this is the deed and it's represented on X blockchain. Um, that deed has a series of rights that go with it. So for example, if you own a house, this is an explanation uh, Molly gave uh, just yesterday. Um, the the deed basically lists all of your rights as an owner of that business, of that company, of that house. So as an owner of the house, you have the right to put on a party. You have a right to rent it out to other people. You have a right to paint the walls. So there's a series of different rights that you get in that deed, in that, in that contract. And so tokenization is basically dividing up the rights for that asset and basically giving different people different rights. So you might have, for example, uh, Kanye West. He might make a video and then, uh, or a music video and tokenize the, the music element. And he might t tokenize maybe like a scene in the video. And so the person who buys the, the token of that scene in the video, let's say they own all of the, all of the furniture that's in that shot or whatever's in that shot, they own it or they own a right to, to resell it or they own a right to um, distribute it or something like that you know they have rights associated with these uh, ownership with the you know with the ownership of the thing so that's a really important understanding because you know I think it's really easy to understand how oh I own this token I own this NFT of this real world asset and I have the right to uh, visit it like if it's, we're talking about a property I, I because I own this NFT I own the right to be able to visit it in, in the summertime 
And I think that's a really easy, easy, a much easier way to understand it. But in a way, I tell you, this place is, is like a real life um, GTA, Grand Theft Auto video game. It's such a strange place, LA. Um, and so let's make that a bit more realistic for everyone. And let's talk about um, money. So if you own an NFT that represents like the rights to the rent of a property, all of a sudden now you've bought, this is the other balcony, by the way, the mountains over there, it's pretty nice. Let's say you've, you've bought the deed, um, you've bought part of a deed, the tokenized part of the deed, and it says you have the right to 10% um, of the revenue created from rental income, right? So it's a little bit more complex, but now all of a sudden your purchase of that NFT, of that tokenized real world asset, grants you 10% of the revenue generated by the rental income. You've just created passive income by using tokenized assets. And so, you know, that will be you on the recipient side, but it's not all about the recipient side. It's also about, you know, your house. You can, you can tokenize the rights, the specific rights to your house, the rental income to the house that you own. Um, and so these are like the most elementary descriptions of, of the way this all works. But what I really wanted the video to do was I wanted to like highlight where we're going in the future and all the crazy ways that tokenization could be used um, in ways that people haven't really thought about. So let's go to the master bedroom, shall we? Um, hold on with me. I'm going to keep recording because you just come with me. Like It's a little bit of a house tour as well. And we're going to explain it in that other room. I think Molly is doing her filming downstairs, so I need to be quiet right now. Crazy house. Okay, I'm going to close the door to this master bedroom. No biggie. <laughs> Look at this place, it's crazy. Um, the shower, oh my goodness, haven't been in here yet. Shower can fit 50 people. The bath is pretty nice. Um, anyway, so let's get into some more drastic things. There's a fireplace in this bedroom. Let's get into more kind of adventurous ways to think about tokenization and Yesterday I went to an LA Lakers game. For the first time I got to see LeBron James play basketball and it's just very clear that he's the best player. <laughs> um, very clear. So that was, that was really nice to see because it's always nice to see high level athletes performing at their best. Um, but it had me thinking. I don't know if any of you have seen this like Apple Vision Pro thing where you, it's basically a, a virtual reality headset for, for all intents and purposes. I know they define themselves as different, but um, what if you had a season ticket for the LA Lakers and you had a front row, you, you, you're on the like front row, um, you're courtside, this is season tickets courtside. What if I wore my VR headset that was recording everything in front of me could I tokenize my season ticket? And within that tokenization, I could give the rights to let's say 10 people to have access to a live feed through my, from my seat, from my season ticket. So this season ticket gets you this view and you as a token holder of that tokenized season ticket, you can watch from someone who's court sides perspective of every LA Lakers game. There's passive income available in everything. And so, yes, I know we're talking about something abstract like basketball tickets, but I, I hope that's a really good example to show you that anything can be tokenized. So let's say a restaurant tokenizes uh, in order to raise money for the restaurant so they can you know, renovate the restaurant or, or open up another branch, right? They say to everyone, um, you can buy uh, tokenized NFTs 
or you can buy NFTs that represent specific items on the menu. And every time someone orders that item on the menu, you get a royalty. But in order to buy that NFT, you get royalties for as long as that item is on the menu. And in order to get that, you have to pay, you know, 500 bucks. And that 500 bucks gives, you give that $500 to the restaurant and lots of other people do because they've, they assign themselves something on the, on the menu. And all of a sudden now that business has a couple thousand dollars to renovate their restaurant or depending on the pricing, you know, they've got a hundred thousand dollars so they can open a new restaurant. Um, and you're continue, continually getting those royalties from those orders on the menu. So from both sides, the, the, the opportunity for tokenization is incredible. And I, I want you to expand your mind. And there's a little challenge for you, a little bit of homework here. I want you to think of something that I've not mentioned that you think other people... Oh, look at that bird flying. It's cool. We um, Think of something that I've not said and that you've never thought about. Think of something random that happens in business. Write in the comments below how you would tokenize it, how it benefits the person tokenizing and how it benefits the person buying the token. Let's, that's a little a, a, a thing to get our brains going about tokenization. Um, I think I've undervalued and underplayed tokenization for too long. And um, yeah, it's, it's basically everything. <laughs> tokenization is basically everything. Um, so I'm going to go downstairs now. That's, that's, that's all my talk on tokenization. But don't go, because I'm going to go down and give you a little uh, background insight into what Molly's recording and the set and everything that we've been filming on. But I'm going to be extremely quiet. So when it's time for me to go, I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to go like that. That means goodbye. That means subscribe. <laughs> okay, so bear with me. Oh, and stay motionless as well. But... Oh, you're not you're not recording yet. No, I'm on. This is a YouTube video, by the way. Oh, nice. So Molly's preparing for her part. Hello. And Hello, is, YouTube. And this is Chris. How's it going? Producer at Fruition Productions. We're excited to be recording today with Molly and Lewis. And uh, absolute pros. This this group of people. Which um, <laughs> so you oh, you've all seen the trailers. Um, but I think they're just getting ready for Molly's part. Um, you've seen the trailers. It's uh, as impressive as it looks, it's way more impressive to see them put it together <laughs> in the background. So it's been a pleasure. So everyone look forward to that. Do you have an expected date? A timeline for us? We're aiming to be completed with filming by XRP Las Vegas. So we want to be uh, done by XRP Las Vegas. That's the, XRP Las Vegas is the final filming date for us. Uh, bearing in mind some major person comes out of the woodwork like Ripple. <clears throat> we're watching, we're waiting um, for you, David and Brad and Chris and Stu, but uh, outside of those individuals, we wanna be done by then and then have everything assembled uh, by the end of May and hopefully then we can do a screening tour, maybe bring the film to a, a nearby market to whoever this is watching this. And then after that, make it out to streaming platforms. Maybe you've heard about going to you know Netflix or other places. The reality of going to streaming is you have to have the project done first. So from our side, we're gonna be done by end of May and then hopefully after that point, fingers crossed, one of those streaming platforms will say, oh my gosh, we want this project and we'll try to get it out there so more people can watch it. Perfect, thank you. And if the opportunity does come up that we can do a, a London showing of this uh, documentary, um, let me know in the comments if you are actually up for, for coming to London. I'll be there. We'll be all watching the uh, a specific cut of the documentary at that location in a theater. So let me know. Thank you.